Ye been talking about dark skin. Ye been talking about dark skin. Ye been talking about dark skin. Ye been talking about dark skin till you heard Rashida Scrober do it. Copying me, damn man. Copying me. Who copying you, Rashida? You better tell me who that is, cause we not finna have this right here. Uh, we not finna have this right here. Hold up, don't act like y'all don't know. I've been the dark skin activist, and anybody talking about dark skin is doing it because of me, Rashida Strober, the world's first and only dark skin activist. You know the real one who been doing it before social media, Rashida Strober, the woman who coined and created the phrase dark skin activist. Rashida Strober, the woman who coined and created the phrase dark skin activism. Rashida Strober, the queen of dark skin, here to sit on my throne. Yo, favorite dark skin chick created the lane way back in 1998, but now they hate Rashida Strober, the first to bring dark skin to social media in 2009 and in 2015 got death threats for calling out Kendrick Lamar's darkism. Nobody supported me when the shit went down. Now, out the gate, all they did was hate. They said, what the hell is a dark skin activist? What the hell is a dark skin activist? But now the fakes try to take the dark skin lane that I create. Tid, but I will never let you fakes take the dark skin lane that I created way back in 1998 straight from the original, only, real, raw, world's first dark skin activist, Rashida Strober, the first artist, Rashida Strober, the first actress, Rashida Strober, the first author, Rashida Strober, the first activist, Rashida Strober, the first woman in history to focus my work only on dark skin, Rashida Strober, the first woman to create a movement only for dark skin, dark skin activist tour updates. I want y'all to look out for the dark skin activist tour coming to Atlanta, Georgia in 2018. This is going to be a live stream pay-per-view event where all my fans all around the world can watch the dark skin activist show live. Now for updates on place, time, and where to get your tickets, go to my website and get on that mailing list, queenofdarkskin.com, aka darkskinactivist.com, aka beingdarkskin.com. Come. You been talking about dark skin. You been talking about dark skin. You been talking about dark skin until you heard Rashida scroll. But do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Hey, 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 hey. You been talking about dark skin. You been talking about dark skin. You been talking about dark skin until you heard Rashida scroll. But do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Hey, 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 hey. You been talking about dark skin. You been talking about dark skin. You been talk about dark skin until you heard Rashida scroll and do it. Now listen up. This is my new spoken word called You ain't been talking about dark skin by dark skin activist, world's first dark skin activist and queen of dark skin, Rashida Scrober. Now I want you to listen up to all you cappy cats out there, all you plagiarizers out there. Listen up and listen close. If I hear you ain't been talking about dark skin spoken word up on anybody else's YouTube or anybody else's social media or anybody on TV or anywhere are coming after your ass with a copyright claim. Okay, cause this here you ain't been talking about dark skin by dark skin activist Rashida Scroble is my intellectual property. Get that good now. If you want to use this, what you do is you hit me up on my email. Dark skin is beautiful campaign at gmail.com you may talk about that skin 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 until you heard rashida scroll but do it okay so what's up everybody what's up y'all ain't i'm blacker than a <laughs> i love it i love it i love being blacker than a you know why i love being blacker than a because it's rashida strober the world's first and only dark skin activist, 
Rashi the Strober, the queen of dark skin, the undisputed queen of dark skin, Rashi the Strober, the woman who brought dark skin to social media, Rashi the Strober, the first woman in history to create a movement for only dark skin starting back in 1998. And for those of you that's watching, don't you ever forget it. You got that? Don't you ever forget it. All right, y'all. I'm just here to kind of give y'all a little bit of updates and reminders. Um, I w I'm actually still traveling, but yesterday I was in Atlanta at the venue. I'm still out there traveling and uh, making things happen because I'm getting ready to kick off this fire. I'm talking about hot, 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 hot fire dark skin activist show on the dark skin activist tour. I told y'all I'm on an ongoing tour. I've never stopped touring. I started touring way back in 19... <laughs> what I said? I'm finna say 1996. I meant to say I started touring back in 2006 when I wrote A Dark Skin Girl's Triumph, the Rashida Strober story. And I never stopped touring. And so I want y'all to keep yourself updated, people. Keep yourself updated because I'm telling y'all, man, I got some, 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 man, I'm so damn excited about the product I'm going to put out to y'all. That I just, it's like, it's mind boggling. It's mind boggling. But, you know, that's why I keep coming and talking to the people because I'm letting y'all know it's coming. And y'all can't say that I didn't come to y'all and I ain't say, get ready because I'm coming to y'all. So how can you keep updated? Right now, I'm waiting for the contract to go ahead and be completed. And that's when I'll be able to find out the date, the time. Um, where did, well, I'll let you guys know where you can buy your tickets. But if you want to really keep updated, all you got to do is go to my website, queenofdarkskin.com. Because I'm the queen of dark skin. I'm the undisputed queen of dark skin. And don't you ever forget that. All right. And then y'all can also keep updated with all of my social media because I'm going to be putting information on all of my social media. As soon as I know all the information, I'm going to go ahead and put everything up on my social media. Let you guys know everything that you need to know to go ahead and get your ticket. And this is very important. I had people say to me. They say, Rashida Strober, I'm not in the city where you at, but I still want to see your show. I listen to y'all because I got something for y'all too. Because y'all going to be able to watch me anywhere in the world with this particular show live stream. Now, I want to say over and over again, it costs. It ain't going to be free. So it's going to be live stream pay-per-view. I'm going to be going ahead and setting up that ticketing box office. And I'm going to let you guys know where it's at. But man, it's going to be, I'm going I'm to drop some, 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 some fire. Some fire! <laughs> I'm finna drop some fire on y'all asks. I said asks. A-S-K. That's what I said. So get that right. Yeah, y'all, I've been touring A Dark Skin Woman's Revenge. That is my other play as a part of the science of dark skin, skin activism. All this work, I want y'all to be very clear and understand that all my plays, all my books, all my social commentary, it started in 1998 when I gave birth to the science of dark skin activism back in St. Petersburg College in St. Petersburg, Florida, speaking on the dark skin Sudanese model, Alec Weck. That was the birth of dark skin activism. And what I did is I took it to the Internet, made it mainstream. All right. Made black people come out and know about it. May everybody else speak. Open the doors for other people to speak on dark skin. And y'all ain't got to say thank you, but let me say this. Nobody would be talking about dark skin if it wasn't for Rashida Strober. And that's a fact. That's a fact. Y'all know I only care about facts now. Nobody wouldn't be talking about no dark skin. I brought dark skin to the internet in 2009 and 2014. Yeah, I went on to the Tommy Sotomayor show. He invited me on his show. Um, Y'all could go to Google the videos. It's all right there on YouTube. And then in 2014 with the Kendrick Lamar beef, everybody knew who the dark skin activist was. And after that time, a lot of y'all been disrespecting me. Y'all ain't been giving me my credit. Y'all been disrespecting the world's first dark skin activist, Rashida Strober. But I got something for the ask. I got something for the ask. Trust me. I got something for that. All right. I got something real good for that. So y'all just hold on. Y'all just hold on. I got the Dark Skin Activist show coming out on the Dark Skin Activist tour, the continuous tour. Y'all, for those of you that don't know, I have written more books on dark skin than anyone in the world. I am the first person to write a motivational book for dark skin females. 
I am the first person to create a movement around only dark skin. Been doing it since 1998, well before social media. I'm also the first artist to focus my work only on dark skin. The first author to focus my work only on dark skin. The first activist to focus my work only on dark skin. That's right. I also coined the word, the words, dark skin activist and dark skin activism and I'm very proud of it because this is my legacy this is what I love to do this is what's in my heart and soul you understand um if you haven't gotten my books yet they're on Amazon or you can go to my website the website is once again queenofdarkskin.com you can go to the website I got how to be the hottest dark skin chick on the planet it is the first motivational book for dark skin females wrote that book years ago okay I, I'm the originator the originator often imitated, but never, you can't duplicate the dark skin activist. <laughs> you can't duplicate the dark skin activist. Anyway, other books include Darkism, 25 Ways Dark Skin People Are Discriminated Against, and My Baby, A Dark Skin Woman's Revenge, which is the book version of Play A Dark Skin Woman's Revenge. And also, y'all, I want to let y'all know I'm going to be coming out real soon with... Inventing Dark Skin Activism, The Rashida Strober Story. And, uh, that's my, uh, alarm going off on my phone. That book is going to detail how I invented dark skin activism. It's giving you the history so that when I'm dead and gone, those students out there that um, wish to study the science of dark skin activism, I'm laying it down for you. I'm laying it down. All right, y'all. I just want to come up on here and talk to the people real quick. And I want to also say shout out to Geisha uh, from Miami, a rapper Geisha. She had me on her show. I want y'all to check her out. G-E-I-S-H, Miami rapper. That's all you got to do is Google her. I want to say shout out to her. I want to say shout out to the Star Chamber. I was recently on their show. I want to say shout out to everybody that have supported me. Okay, everybody that have supported me. And that's why I'm working so hard to bring y'all that dark skin activist heat. I'm going to bring y'all that dark skin activist heat. Y'all just keep on the lookout. Keep on the lookout for updates because I'm fist to bring it. I'm fist to bring it. Y'all know I always bring it. You better ask them people that come to my live shows. You better ask them people that come to my live shows and they will tell you. They'll tell you how Rashida Strober do, the world's first dark skin activist, the queen of dark skin, the woman who brought dark skin to social media. You better ask them how Rashida Strober do. All right, y'all. Let me get on up out of here. Go to my um, GoFundMe. Type in Rashida Strober GoFundMe. Make a donation because I'm a self-producing artist. And go ahead and make that donation. Anybody that donates $25 or more will get an autographed copy of my book, Darkism. All right. So that's pretty much it for now. I'm still traveling out here on the road. Y'all hear my voices hoarse. I got the uh, green tea over here. I'm out here traveling on the road, making things go, ha making things happen, making things happen with this dark skin activist show that's going to go down. And like I said, y'all, I'm going to be releasing the dates. I can't wait. I am so freaking excited. I'm so black. I'm so black. I'm so black. Y'all mad? You mad I'm black? Is you mad? Calling me black, 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 black. Yeah, I'm black. And your problem? My face is shiny black. Show lips. Show lips shiny black. Now, what you got to say? What you dark skin haters out there got to say? Because y'all know they be hating on the dark skin. They been hating on my dark skin for years, honey. They been hating on my dark skin. Man, why you think I created dark skin activism back in 98? Because it all came from my childhood. People out here trying to rip off my storyline of the bully for being dark skin, but I'm an artist. I wrote, I was the first to write that storyline. Bully for being dark skin. Everybody out here, cop copying me. That's what y'all need to stop doing. Cop copying me. But well, that's what y'all do. So if you hear anything I'm saying on my channel or on my YouTube, anywhere else, you know that they cop copying the dark skin activists. Let me get out of here, y'all. Stay tuned for updates from the world's first and only dark skin activist, Rashida Strober, with her black ass. I'm so black. All y'all can see is my teeth. <laughs> All y'all can see is my teeth. Y'all like that, huh? <laughs> ah, Rashida Strower, the world's first and only dark skin activist. The queen of dark skin. Queen of dark skin.com, y'all. I'll talk to y'all again soon. Stay tuned for updates. Bye.